digital world we live in today, personal identifying information, account information, uh, yeah, the threat from fraud applies to anybody who's online. We had an article in the Wall Street Journal in their AI section about how we're using AI uh, to improve authentication and identity fraud. And uh, Liz Lasher is the spokesperson there. And here she is, Liz Lasher. I'm sure that we're all aware of some of the larger data breaches that have happened over the years. And with the onslaught of these data breaches, identity fraud has risen dramatically. But the fact of the matter is, we can't even blame the data breaches for the lost control of our data. Social media has become a platform for us to provide the world with our personal information. Fraud is a tremendously large issue, and, and as you see technology and AI and ML helping reduce fraud in one place, it's like a balloon. You squeeze it and the air goes to the other side. I think the fraud threat today is evolving, and it's evolving because of the cyber-enabled tools that are available to the fraudsters. The speed and scale, the sophistication of the attack is different from what it was five, six, 10, 20 years ago. I don't think businesses necessarily need to be afraid of fraud, but they need to be smart about how they're addressing their controls. Fraud overall is, is inherent in business, unfortunately. Um, is it a growing problem? No, because I think if you have good measures in place to identify variation, if the variation uh, indicates that there's a challenge, then you can proactively address it. We need to think about fraud, not, not just in terms of bottom line, but we need to think about top line in our relationships with our customers, right? Because the experience that we give them uh, when they've been victims of fraud is, is critical. Personalization is incredibly important. In fact, many of our customers are more focused on us detecting legitimate behavior than they are about fraudulent behavior. Because if I'm wrong about a, a customer that has been trusted, right, uh, and the customer doesn't understand why they got blocked, this can be a really big challenge because it could harm the relationship that that customer has with the bank. For FICO, we're leveraging adaptive technology, so when fraud does occur, models will quickly learn how the fraud is shifting, even in the cloud, to make those determinations around very subtle patterns across many, many of our customers at once, so we provide insight on how customers need to respond to this changing fraud pattern.